Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Kingsbury. I'm a full-time reseller and a freelance photographer as well. Today we're going to get back into the reselling side of things and head into Goodwill, get some fresh inventory. I'm over here at the Sunset Plaza in Bellingham. This is where I like to go on Mondays and get some inventory. So we're going to head into Goodwill and see what we can find today. Let's do it. First find of the day, I have these Adidas three stripes here. These are 70% off of $9.99. So I'm going to go ahead and pick these up. So I'm leaving Goodwill now. I spent $105. Let me turn you guys around and give you a look at what I purchased today. This will be uh, all going into my store, uh, menschoice.info. So there's the total spent, $105.18. Got a whole stack of dress shorts here. One uh, tip I have for you, as the seasons end, you can usually pick up uh, out of season stuff. So as we switch from uh, Summer to fall, those shorts come in and you can find them out there. I invested in some uh, dress pants, a couple pair of jeans. Um, I got these nice golf shoes. These are um, Puma golf shoes. I think they retail for about $100 new, so I should do alright on those. I paid 10 bucks for those. This was uh, the pair of shoes I showed you when I first came in there. $9.99, uh, 70% off of those. Found one uh, DVD here, uh, Entourage Season 3 Part 1. It was 70% uh, off of $4. And these are all just uh, polo shirts, athletic shirts. Um, so that's what I invested in, $105. I should do all right. Menschoice.info if you want to take a look at anything there. Welcome back to the channel. I've got uh, a big stack of envelopes down here. I've been working hard on listing and I got all my shorts and polo shirts listed the last couple days. I uh, went buying on Monday and it's now Wednesday so it took me a couple days to get through them but let me give you a look at what I've accomplished this week so far. So as you can see I got a nice stack here. This is for my small store for those of you that don't know I have two stores so this will go into my small store and over here Got a little batch here for the big store. So I'm working through it. Over here I have the last of what I purchased on Monday. Just one stack of um, dress pants. So I'm gonna be working through that. But first, I'm gonna mow the lawn. So let's get outside and mow that grass. So the lawn mowing shoes are out. We're ready to get laced up and get going on this yard. So I've neglected the yard the last couple weeks, so it's quite long. Let me give you guys a look at what I'm working on today. It looks pretty bad, but we're going to get it mowed down. As you can see, the dandelions are blooming. It's going to probably be the, one of the last mows of the season, hopefully. But we're going to get through this, get all this stuff mowed down, get it looking all right. Been doing a little weeding out here, but uh, let's get started on it. Like usual, I'm going to set you guys up here on the deck, give you a little view of the grass as I... Uh, fire up that mower and get going. So let's uh, get it started.
the grass is a bit longer than usual, so we're going to have to empty the bag mid-mow here in the front. We've got about half of it done, so let's uh, see what we got in the bag and get it emptied. As you can see, it's about half full. It's a little uh, less full than I thought, but we're going to empty it anyways and get finished with the second half of this job. So let's take it back here to the back and throw it on the compost pile. Um, we've got a bit of a change to our compost pile. Our neighbor put some rocks back here with everybody's permission, so it, did, it looks a little different than before, but uh, this is what we got going on now. It's nice and flattened out, but uh, we're gonna put a nice stack right here. Let's do it. gonna be a, we'll spread that out a little but there's the first bag let's get going on the rest of that front yard so I think what I'm gonna do is take you off the deck and get you down on ground level set you down here on this little tote and give you a look at things from a different angle let me show you what we got going on right here so I've got the tote set up right here and we'll give you a look this is the remainder of the front yard that we have to do so I think if I get you guys set up right like that, it'll be a nice view for you. Let's do it. We got the front yard done. Let's give you a little look at the finished product. I might have to hit it a few more times. There are a few high spots that I might have missed, but there it is. There's the after. All the long stuff is gone. So now we're going to work on the front yard. I think what I'm going to do is grab this tote here, get you guys set up down here at the far end give you a good look at it from ground level again. So we set you up right here by these steps. It's as good a spot as any, so let's do it.
So I think I'm going to get a drink of water. I'm going to give you a look at this uh, side yard. Empty the bag and then get ready for the back. Let's give a, a look over and see what uh, how my work is today. Um, looks like pretty good lines. I did a little bit of the neighbor's yard. I did miss this one. I did that little spot over there for them. A couple little long ones there that snuck through, but we'll just yank those out. Just weeds. So there's the side yard. I'm going to show you this bag here. Get it emptied. It's about half full again. But we'll get it emptied and get it ready for the backyard. Here's the backyard. Long just like the front, but uh, let's get this thing emptied over here. And then we can work on the back. So there's bag one. Here comes the bag two. Let's get this thing emptied here. There it goes, bag two. So we'll get a nice pile there and we'll get a good drink of water and get started on that backyard. Let's do it. So for those of you who've been watching the channel, you know that I've put a lot of time into uh, Fremont Friday the last couple, I think four or five weeks. I've been uh, photographing Fremont Fridays and then also the Snomish Block Party. I did uh, the Snomish Block Party Noah Cyrus was the headliner there, so we got some great footage of her and the rest of the, uh, uh, the acts at that uh, Snowmush Block Party. They brought a lot of nice bands there. But now I'm trying to get back into the regular swing of things and do some more uh, reseller related content and uh, whatever else comes my way. I'm probably going to still try to do some um, live music uh, footage. So if any bands out there want to be featured on my channel, feel free to reach out and we'll make that happen. But we're going to test this Apple. This is a Gala. They were 99 cent at Fred Meyer. So let's test the quality. You got to see how good the crunch factor is on these. Not bad. I've had better, but not bad for 99 cents a pound. Yep, not bad. All right, snack time is over. Time to get back to work. Let's get you set up over here and get the backyard mode. We're gonna do this little quadrant here next to the shed. I'm gonna set you up on this tote right here and get it knocked out. Let's do it. Looks like we had you sitting in the sun and the camera overheated. It tends to do that a little if you put you in the sun too long. But uh, we did get that little quadrant done. I'll give you guys a look at it. And then we'll uh, let the camera cool off and finish off the backyard. So here's that uh, little area we just did. I had to move the wheelbarrow and these blocks. But we got it knocked out. Might have to go over it a little bit more. but looking pretty good so here's the back this is all we have left to do this little section right here so let's uh, let this camera cool off and get it going so there's not a ton of shade back here but we do have a little section here by the shed 
um, that should be shady enough to keep this camera cool and get to some good footage. So we're going to set you up right here and uh, knock out this little section and then we'll do the last section in another area. But let's turn you around and show you what we're working with. So this is the area we're going to hit right now. The tote is set up here by the shed. And we're going to set you right here. And hopefully this camera doesn't shut off this time and stays cool enough to keep it going and get this footage. Let's give it a try. So I'm not sure if you guys saw that, but I almost took a little spill there. Took a little too far of a step back. Had to uh, almost fall into this little ditch here next to the propane tank. I think there is a bee's nest under that propane tank. Let's go around here and see if we can... They tend to grow in there. I don't know, you guys see a bee's nest in there? I've seen some bees come and go. No, there's one in there right now. Sometimes you open that thing up and there's a giant uh, bee's nest in there. Can't quite tell if there's anything growing in there right now or not, but uh, that's for another day. But yeah, I did take a little step back. Luckily I caught myself uh, and didn't go tumbling into the ditch. Could have been some good footage for you. This is the last little section we have to do. It's all in the sun other than that little corner over there. So I think I'm going to put you guys in this corner right over here and uh, shoot upward. So let's get you guys set up here and you'll be looking at it right like this. But I'm going to get another battery for the camera, let it cool down a little, and then knock this out. So I'm doing all my chores today. we got a load of laundry going right now. I'm going to get that transferred over to the dryer and then finish off the yard. Let's do it. So I've got a fresh battery in the camera and a little bit more uh, grass to mow. For those of the, you that don't know, this lawn mowing season, this lawn mowing series is uh, part of my journey to 4,000 hours and 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm about one fourth of the way there. I think I'm up to 186 followers and approaching 1,000 hours. So we're uh, getting closer. Um, once you get to 4,000 hours and 1,000 subscribers. Uh, then you can monetize the channel. So that's the goal. So I want to thank everybody for watching thus far. Let's finish off this lawn mowing uh, session and get this knocked out. Let's do it.
that's the end of the job. Let's empty this last bag and then we'll call it a day. Let's see uh, how much this last bag has in it. We have two empty bags. What does this one have? Oh, it has about a one-fourth of a bag in here. So this will be a easy empty. Let's bring it over there. You know, to shake out and call it a shoot. So there it is. Whoops, if I can get through here. Three bags, well two and a half bags of grass. This is the last one. Ooh, a little bit more in there than I thought, but uh, we'll spread that out on this pile here, get it looking nice. And that'll be our new compost pile there. So I thought I'd give you one last look at the finished product here now that we have it all done, the bag's empty, ready to put the mower back in the garage. But let's give you a look at the finished product. You saw everything before with all the grown up uh, dandelions, flowering dandelions. So now they're all gone and let's give you guys a look at the finished product. So here's the backyard. We just finished this section here. This is where I almost fell into the propane tank. This was where the camera shut off temporarily here, but we got this area knocked out. Had to move these little uh, cement blocks, but I got that area looking nice. Here's the side area. You guys saw this. Did a little section of the neighbor's yard over here just to be nice. And here is the front yard. All fresh and ready. No more dandelions. So there it is. There's one last look at the finished product. So if you like these lawn mowing videos and you want to see more, if you go to my channel and search keyword lawn mowing, you'll see about five or six uh, lawn mowing videos. You can uh, go ahead and watch those as well. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.